Just a real quick video here to show you how to use the offset tool in Cricut Design Space. First, you wanna select your text. I'm going to type out the word welcome, and I'm going to make that a lot larger here so we can see what we're doing. Let's move this down onto the screen. And I'm using the font called Reline, and that is currently in the May 2021 SVG and Fonts Bundle from SoFonsi. I'm going to adjust the letter spacing a little bit so I can tighten up the space between these. And I'm actually going to unlock this font and kind of mess around with it a little bit to get it to look the way I'd like it. That looks good. Okay, so on to the offset. Now, important, you have a text group um, that is selected and then you click on the tool up here and you're gonna get the slider bar. If you move it to the right, you're gonna see the blue outline here around your letters um, get larger. And I like to move it so that it fills in all of these spaces. So the O, the E, see how if you move it over to the left, you can see that there's this little these little cuts here. I don't want those in the finished cut. So I'm going to continue to move this over until I find, um, I think that looks pretty good. Um, I select the corners to be rounded. You can use the angled corners, but sometimes because this is in beta version, there tends to be a bug every once in a while where it'll glitch and it'll make all of the offset a little bit wonky. So I use the rounded corners and then I click weld offsets. This button here is automatically selected actually, but if you unclick it, you'll see that it changes that offset into an individual one for each letter. So this would be helpful like if you were making a banner or stickers. Um, or where you want to separate the text, but I, I want the offset in the background to all be one piece, so I'll click Weld Offsets and Apply. This is now given a shadow behind my text, and now I can go and cut both of these layers separately. If you click Make It, it's going to show you that it has separated them onto two mats. So the offset is on the first mat, and the second mat has the text. So that pretty much is the offset tool in a nutshell. And look for a tutorial soon on how to use the offset tool with designs and also for some other inspiration and projects that are coming up very soon. All right, thanks guys, have a great day.